um, sometimes you might find that you're out in the field and you don't have your dividers or a ruler and it's going to happen. So this is about looking at ratios in a way that you're being as accurate as possible. So if I'm starting with the back of my foot in my mapping, I can now clearly see the bottom of my collateral grooves, my V dimple, and the flat spots where the back of the frog turns to the ground surface of the frog here is right in here. So this is easily my back of my foot right there. If I draw it straight, that'd be helpful. Right there, okay? If I draw a center line down the middle of my frog, and you can use your rasp as a straight edge if you want. I always find that's a little harder because when you use your rasp or anything like this, like this, oftentimes you're way above the foot with the marker and the marker has a taper to it. So it's hard to necessarily get in the center. So you know, you do you, however it makes sense for you. Um, when I look at the center, um, I'm gonna put my fingers in the bottom of my collateral grooves here. And I can feel my bar swells, believe it or not, they're right here. Guys, can I tip your hat up? Oh yes, I'm sorry, is my hat in the way? <laughs> That's okay. No, just leave it right okay. there, it's fine. I just won't put my head down that far. Right. right there and right there, okay? Which is wild because you'd think they'd be further up. And I do still have some chalk here. Uh, this one's not so chalky, but the end of the white line of the bar looks like it's still going out. There's a lot of vertical depth here. So they're gonna go forward. So I am thinking that my end of my white line of my bar is actually there and there in that range. Junction sold a white line. You can use your pen as a straight edge. Come over, it's about here over about here okay and then my frog boob is probably gonna be down in here okay so you know this and this is less distorted than all this so I'm thinking this is probably a little more accurate but for today I'm gonna use this as my center line even though I think it's further forward well, it's always better to judge this distance longer so this line further back and this line further forward it's gonna keep you safer okay and then, hold on, Bama, I know. And if I'm gonna double that forward, I'm gonna use the inside of my fingers and try to be as self-disciplined about this as possible. And that meets, makes my breakover about there, which makes sense to me. I'm just gonna check my line, sorry for the hat. Okay, and then my toe callus is right here, super easy to see, right here, okay. My true frog apex, let's see. If we we're gonna approximate that, we could go this way, and then central sulcus, double it forward. So my true frog apex is about here. So my, it, look at the, you can almost see the toe pillars on the foot. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? It's like they're, they're really prominent right there. Can you put your finger on the true frog apex hand just to, for the, right, right? Yeah, yeah. Right there. It's wild, eh? How much it's stretched for? How much it's stretched for? Yeah. yeah. Well, and doesn't that look more proportionate? Now it's a nice frog. Yeah. So interesting. Once you trim it up and you look at where the true frog apex is, that actually looks very proportionate. Okay. You're a good girl. I know that was a lot.